Are you getting forgetful? Even little things like forgetting someone's name or what you had for dinner last night might be early warning signs of dementia. It's estimated that half of all people turning 85 will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or dementia. But the good news is that you can reverse brain aging and dementia with proper lifestyle and targeted nutritional support. To find out how, stay tuned to this episode of Immortality Now. There is a lot of uh, concern over loss of cognitive function. Many of us are, are confused. Many of us are forgetful. Uh, we live in very, very stressful times. Stress affects memory. Poor diet affects memory. Poor sleep affects memory. Too much anxiety affects memory. Having to remember too many things affects memory. Oh my God, everything affects memory. So we are living in a world that is pressing in on us, in on us, in on us. Now, there is a concern among many that even this early form of forgetfulness that, you know, most people say, oh, well, that's just normal. Oh, they're just getting enough sleep. Oh, they're just tired. Oh, they have too much to remember. The, the facts are that even early forms of forgetfulness and cognitive dysfunction progress over years and years and years into advanced forms of cognitive dysfunction, Alzheimer's, dementia, Call it what you will. There's many different terms for it, but it's all the same stuff. It's brain damage, okay? It's brain dysfunction. Now, the good news is, is that if you take away the stresses, if you take away the toxins, if you add the proper nutrients, you can repair. The brain is able to repair itself. This is new knowledge. We didn't know that until 10 years ago. We thought that what you had when you were about age 10 was all you would ever have as far as uh, uh, functional neurons. We found out that neurons will repair themselves if you give them the right nutrients, the right environment, the right stimulation, which includes, by the way, healthy sunlight, which includes, by the way, uh, crossword puzzles, learning a new language, doing mathematics, being challenged intellectually with music or language or new thoughts. Okay, so the brain is a muscle, it must be worked, it must be given the proper nutritional products, the proper stimulation. That's the good news. The bad news is if you don't, if you don't use it and you don't care for it, you're going to lose it. So don't be complacent. If you're getting forgetful, get on top of it right now. Phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine, um, B vitamins. Okay, these are the very basics. The oriental herbs, including ginseng, ashwagandha, cordyceps mushrooms, okay, uh, curcumin, turmeric. All these things are protective of the brain and a neurological system. And believe me, a functional brain is a very important organ to maintain throughout your life for the quality of your life and for the length of your life. It's my pleasure to have Dr. Daniel Amen as our uh, guest today. Dr. Amen is a noted psychiatrist, a neuroscientist, a uh, best-selling author, PBS specials, TED Talks, uh, university research. Dr. Amen, let's talk about brain aging because you are a pioneer in brain aging. And what you have done was to create a tool, a functional tool, that shows people what's actually going on, and that's really so much uh, a tenant of anti-aging medicine is to have those functional methods of actually measuring the performance of the organs, and that's why I love what you've done with the spec scanning for the brain. Right, because if you don't look, you don't know. And, you know, no other medical specialists act like psychiatrists. Right, cardiologists look, your orthopedic doctor looks, your gynecologist looks, everybody looks, we guess. But in the process of looking, not only am I better at treating my patients, I'm more effective at getting them motivated to be well. Because if you see that your brain is older than you are. Oh, you're scared of that, uh, that's for sure. And GE actually did a study that said 75% of people would want to know if brain problems were coming, even if they couldn't do anything about it. But what you and I both know 
is you can do something about it. You can do something about it. That's really the important thing. And that's really what Immortality Now is all about. And that's why we have these discussions, because we want to be able to uh, give information, useful, actionable information for people how to avoid these sort of things. I know you're an expert on the prevention aspect of it. So when it comes to the prevention of deterioration of brain function to, deter to, to risk for Alzheimer's or neurodegenerative disease or dementia, what are the things, what are the three top things that people should be thinking about? Getting at least six hours of sleep at night is critical. Just within the last year, there's new research that shows what happens when you sleep. Your brain actually cleans itself. It washes itself. It takes out the toxins. So the channels, the cleaning channels, actually don't work when you're awake. They only work when you're asleep. So if you're not getting good sleep, beta amyloid plaques build up. And other toxins that are, we know, responsible or at least involved in Alzheimer's disease. The other thing is sleep apnea, treat it. It's just an epidemic in our country. So making sure it's diagnosed, if you snore loudly, stop breathing, chronically tired, you've got to go to a sleep lab. And, and if the sleep doctor says you have sleep apnea, you can't wear the mask for like three days and then blow it off. Right. right? And one of the best ways to treat sleep apnea is weight loss. But if you don't treat the sleep apnea, you don't have the energy or the cognitive ability uh, to control it. Second thing, get your mind right, you've got to get your blood sugar right. If your blood sugar is high, not only does it lead to diabetes, high normal blood sugar is associated with brain atrophy. Really? High normal blood pressure is associated with brain atrophy. And there are 200 studies now, I published two of them, that say as your weight goes up, the actual physical size and function of your brain goes down. I had 170 NFL players who have brain damage. And when I looked at their brains, my first thought is, can I fix it? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know, when I was in medical school, they weren't talking about neuroplasticity. They were talking about once the brain's gone, it's gone. Absolutely. That's what they taught right. me, too. It's that the brain could not repair, that the brain did not remodel after childhood, after age, say, eight or so. And uh, that you were just, you know, that's what you, you that's what you got. That's what that's right. All you're it's completely have. changed. Mm -hmm. Your brain actually doesn't finish developing until you're 25 if you're a girl, 28 if you're a boy. I hate that. We're always behind. Um, and but I had these 170 players, and I, I would have hated to say, oh, you have brain damage. I'm sorry, bye. So we put them on a rehabilitation program. So diet, exercise, weight loss, if they needed it and then a multiple mechanism supplement. So supplements have a bad rap because like medicine, they often have a single mechanism action. And so we went after them with blood flow, inflammation, nutrient vitamin support, acetylcholine neurotransmitter support, uh, increase in the fluidity of nerve cell membranes. 80% of our players showed improvement. Really? And mood, memory, attention, sleep, and blood flow to their frontal lobes. Wow. Now, why does frontal lobe blood flow matter? Focus, forethought, judgment, impulse control, organization, planning, empathy. I'm like, oh my goodness, I was like so excited. You are not stuck with the brain you have, but you have to do it in multiple mechanisms, optimizing their important numbers. It's one of the things I love about A4M. It's not, are you normal? It's like, are you optimal? That's really what we're going That's after. That's what it's all about personalized and iterative. We go after it over time. And that's the message of my life. You're not stuck with the brain you have. I can make it better, we can make it better, and I can prove it. So the brain you save will be your own. Pay attention to it and feed it well. And if you're forgetful in the very least, find someone, hopefully a physician, who is very knowledgeable in this field and you can go to www.worldhealth.net to find the list of anti-aging physicians who are board certified and fellowship trained who know about the early detection, prevention, and treatment of neurocognitive dysfunction. Funding for Immortality Now was provided by Energy Development, better health through non-invasive technology. For more information, visit energydev.com. And by Ondamed, this non-invasive therapeutic approach uses biofeedback and pulsed electromagnetic stimulation to help patients improve their stress tolerance. To learn more or to find a practitioner near you, go to ondamed.net.